name is Nicholas Abeda. My co-driver's name is Curtis Milby. Uh, we built this uh, 4600 stock class Suzuki Samurai. We wanted to keep this car as true to the stock form as possible. King of the Hammers is, I, I think the only way to describe it is it's the burning man of off-road. You come out here and you see every possible vehicle, um, every year make a model ve vehicle, and they're all modified to where you, you just can't even believe what you're looking at. It's, it's unbelievable. We're here on a, on a Wednesday, and there's probably 30, 40,000 people out here on Wednesday. And uh, they're all out here to have, have, the, have fun, and they all have the same passion that we do. So in this class, 4600, it is any year maker model car, uh, and it has to stay within the class rule stock limitations. So a lot of the cars we're racing against um, are newer vehicles. Sometimes they're even production vehicles backed by Ford or backed by Toyota, for example. Um, so some of the newer Ford Broncos, they still race up, up against these little, little stock Samurais. We're kind of racing a, a race within a race. And uh, we're just trying to be the first samurai, full, first full-bodied samurais to finish the the, the race, because I don't think any other full-bodied samurai has ever finished King of the Hammers yet. This is a tough course this year, so the samurais, a lot of them had a hard time on parts of the course, and um, we all got together and we figured out uh, ways to get through the course that uh, that are catered to the samurais. Um, it's a welcoming community in the samurai class. It's basically a class within a class. Um, it's welcoming, but at the same time it's competitive. And as much as everyone wants to help each other, they also want to compete against each other too. So we're all hanging out talking by the campfire at night, and then the next day we're racing. Really with huge amounts of help from everyone involved, we built what we feel to be a super low budget and absolutely really fun to car to drive. Um, and one thing we really enjoy about it is it's fully convertible back to a streetable car. So spare tire carrier unbolts, tire gate bolts back on. Um, we can pull the number plates off. They index off all factory target top locations. Uh, and we can put a full top on this thing, windshield, uh, and we can go drive it to the trail. Um, as long as we don't destroy the body too much tomorrow, uh, this thing should do pretty good. Uh, so on this car, we're running uh, 3110.5 by 15 um, BFG trains. Uh, we wanted to keep with a smaller tire, narrower tire, uh, in order to fit our shock packaging. So we've got, uh, as far as shocks, we've got uh, Fox um, Race Series 2.0 re re remote reservoir shocks. They're uh, eight and a half inch travel, and we're using just about every inch of that travel. Uh, so this thing's pulling, pulling about eight and a half inches of travel front and rear. Uh, and then to slow us down a little bit with, with the hard hits, we've got some uh, King 2.0 by two inch uh, bump stops on all four corners. YJ spring swap, front and rear, um, with Trail Tough uh, Bonsai leaf springs. And uh, as you know, even though they're not, a, it's not a Deaver or a custom leaf pack or anything, but it works really well for this car. And the car sits low, slides through corners really easily. Um, and it's a really fun, nimble car to, get, to drive. Interior-wise, um, I really wanted to find the biggest seat that I could fit in here um, and uh, still preserve a little room, so we went with some PRP Comp Elites. We got just enough room to where we don't bump shoulders when uh, me and uh, Curtis are driving this thing around. Uh, PRP harness is super comfortable. Um, one of our favorite things is the PCI headsets. It's perfect. We you know, throw the Bluetooth on, bump some tunes while we're on the trail, and we can talk and chatter with everyone on the on the radio channels super easily, hands-free. It's really nice. As far as navigation, we went with a Lawrence HDS7 GPS. Um, this thing's been killing it all week while we're pre-running. Per our class specs, we got to run some uh, you know medical equipment. So we've got a My Medic uh, first aid kit that straps in there really nice. Huge shout out to Dave from Bent Motorsports. Um, he hooked us up with a huge uh, and really awesome uh, wiring panel and switch panel. So this switch panel, every switch corresponds with a resettable circuit breaker, so we have no fuses in this car. So if we pop a fuse or a light turns off or stops functioning, we just reach over, line it up with the switch that we think's bad, reset the circuit breaker, keep on going. 
it's super nice, super clean wiring. Um, I can't thank those guys enough at Bent Motorsports. Dave, yeah. Drew, Jake, the other Jake, Curtis. I mean, they're great people. Um, other than that, we just got a, you know, a, a class specific roll cage. Uh, huge shout out to uh, the Hadsel brothers, Anthony Hadsel and Chad Hadsel. This cage came out of their old race car before they upgraded. And uh, so this cage has already been through King of the Hammers a couple times and we're happy to put it to uh, good use a third time. So other than that, it's just the Samurai. We still got the Samurai shelves in there. Um, Samurai five speed. And uh, we just wanted to keep it true to a Samurai car. So it is what it is. It's just the factory 1.3 liter four cylinder. Um, she burns a lot of oil as long as as long as oil is coming out, dirt's not getting in it. So um, I don't know what is up with this motor, but it's, this thing just a tank. It just runs and runs and runs and we drive it like a two-stroke dirt bike. This thing just revs and we keep our foot to the floor everywhere we drive this thing. Um, we upgraded it with a Toyota 3K carb from Certified Machine. Um, we did a header full inch and a half exhaust straight back um, with just a muff muff muffler in it and power steering. Other than that, I don't even think this motor has been gone through. We've done a timing belt on it like 10 years ago and that's it. She's just, it's a trooper. So super happy with this little thing and uh, it does what it does. It goes at samurai speeds and you can't ask any more from it. Yeah, neck braces, fire suits. Yeah, it's kind of sucks, but we won't catch on fire. These guys are wild, man. Like, I'm sure they probably think the same thing, too. Yeah. Those guys are wild. They're a fucking samurai. <laughs> they probably do. <laughs>